Hello guys, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 5th. Today we are going to add our CSS and JS files inside our project so we can start our project. So now go to your, uh, close your tabs, extra tabs and now refresh your page. Make sure we are on the home controller. Make sure we have a single controller named home and we are at the home controller. So now you have learned how can you break your html content into multiple parts first of all and uh, you have also learned uh, what is the problem where whenever you want to add some extra css and js file inside your specific page so i'm saying i am just copying these sections and i'm this section and i'm saying okay so okay so now remove these extra CSS and these extra JS file. First of all, the fresh view page source. So now you can see we are adding our jQuery file inside our footer section. So where is your footer sections? I'm closing my extra stuff. Here footer. So here is your footer. So how can you add your CSS files? Make sure uh, you can add your all CSS files which is needed uh, on your every page on your entire website for suppose bootstrap, your style and uh, your jQuery. So make sure we are starting our header section inside our header.php. So open your header.php header header .php files so you can see. You can add your CSS file here so I'm saying this is my uh, sorry uh, link and I'm saying style I'm saying so, and I'm saying href okay so I'm saying base url base url and i'm saying go to assets folder css folder load the style.css file okay so we have not created yet CS, css folder inside our assets folder so go to your root so here is your root you are at the root e-commerce and assets create a directory css create a style.css file make sure i'm going to create style file where is style sheet style.css okay we have created our style file and we have added this file inside our head sections so go to your page refresh the okay base url why it's giving error because uh, we are not loading base URL. So first you need go to your config autoload.php file. Find your helper section. Where is your helper? So this is your library. This is your helper. So I'm saying I'm going to set uh, URL helper to autoload file. Okay. So go to your page. Refresh the page. So now you can see it's working fine. View page source. You are you can see we have loaded or we have attached our CSS file inside here. So close this auto load and uh, where is the CSS file we have just created. Okay, here is your CSS file we have just created. Okay, so now I'm saying H1 color red okay go to your home section refresh the page so h1 is not available i'm saying h1 also h2 also h3 refresh the page okay why okay so it's working or not go to your console and you can see uh, jquery is not available because jquery why jquery is not available because jQuery is not available so ref remove this because it, it's extra and open your 
this view okay h1 also is not available i'm saying in the style also p so you can see style your style sheet is working now and now we need to add our jquery inside here so how can you add your jquery first of all uh, go to your cdn jquery jquery cdn okay compressed or uncompressed version so it's totally depend upon you which version you are going to add i am saying uncon uncompressed version copy this link and i'm saying so you can paste this link i'm saying type text slash javascript so we have added our jquery here so go to your home sections refresh the page consoles if you are not receiving any error inside your console that means you are your code is working fine so uh, go to your head sections you can uh okay so now you can see uh 404 not not found this file is not available it's saying because it's a wrong file okay so that's why i'm saying if you are not receiving any error inside your console section so that's that meaning you are successfully adding your css and js file so whenever you want to add your css file which is uh, which you want to uh, need or uh, yeah. okay whenever you want to add your css file for suppose you need those css file which you want which you want to need on every page on every method or in simple word in your entire website or web application you uh, you need to add those file css file inside your header sections first of all and uh, those js file which you want to need on your entire website you need to add those files inside your footer sections for suppose jquery is required so that's why we are adding jquery here if you want to add extra js files you can on a specific page make sure i'm saying extra js file on a specific page you just need to create your uh, another view and uh, just uh, write your uh, extra js code inside your php file or uh, a view and uh, you can just add that file or on a specific page so uh, i uh, we have attached so we have downloaded uh our dashboards make sure i have installed my zamp inside my e-directory server so here is your uh, htdocs and uh, e-commerce our project and make sure i uh, i have assets folder admin lte so you can see we have plugin and uh, here is your plugin so we are going to add these files or uh, these lte in our next lecture so now we are going to add bootstrap 3 make sure we are using bootstrap 3 so make sure i'm not i'm not using bootstrap 4 inside uh, our this series because we have a template which is available inside uh, which is available in bootstrap 3 and we have a admin lte template which is also available in bootstrap Three. okay so the current version 3.3.7 bootstrap download how can you add these files i am saying there are two approaches first you you need to download the bootstrap files and uh, keep these files inside your assets or you can add your uh, cdn like this i am just copying this file this css file okay and where you can add this uh, this css file because i need this css file uh, inside my project so go to your header sections and add here okay and uh, go to your bootstrap and you need to add bootstrap.js file so where you can add this file inside your footer because you need to <sighs> add here okay so now go to your home controller refresh the page 
so now you have successfully added your CSS and JS file or your bootstrap view page source so you have bootstrap file um, bootstrap file CSS bootstrap JS file so how can you verify either these are working these files are working or not to go to your home sections and you need to add button and I'm saying class button button so it's working this is okay so now you can see it's working this button is working okay so we have successfully added our css and js files uh, okay thank you for watching